Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Welcome in. Another day of Timberborn. Hopefully we got our coffee, tea, spiked drink of beverage, maybe. However we're feeling today. How are we doing, chat? We ready to rock and roll? Ready to rock and roll. I was letting the game run while we were rolling in here this morning. Uh, we got enough science that I unlocked Tapper Shack. Uh, so we got that down. Ready to get some sap going. So we got that. Looks like our trees are getting to the point where we are able to start collecting them. Um, I did put a little ladder over here. I'm going to put some chestnuts over here just to get a little bit of those guys going. Just to maximize that space out we got over here. Not really anything else we can put in that area, so why, why not, right? Um, and then today, we said we were going to work on getting these larger three storages up. I want to get this wood workshop unlocked so we can have those planks, and that'll get out us these big old water pumps unlocked. And then I also want to get to being able to uh, get the centrifuge going. Uh, so I think getting some more science unlocked as well would be a good goal. I might look, start looking at where we want to maybe get a second beaver colony going. Um, I know the bad water kind of comes down through here. We're definitely going to have to get out to here sooner than later, the underground ruins, uh, to get a mine going. Um, so maybe getting dam built here, get some irrigation going. Um, maybe we block up the bad water so it no longer comes this way. That might be a uh we don't want that coming this way at all. Let's just block it up. Why not? We don't need it. And then all of this should go that way. I'm hoping that doesn't cause like a crazy overflow. I don't think that can affect us in any way, uh, but we'll see. Beaver boys are going to need to gals. Beaver pals are going to need to be able to get over here, so get them a path get them a path going they can work on that in the background started building them a little platform over here I always keep thinking the water's still over here we can get a large tank for water something like so put that in there maybe maybe we, we bump it out one I don't think we're going to need more than two of these, but. Who am I? Or something like that. I think that'll be good on the. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. On the water. Waterfront. Trees are finally starting to grow up there. That's good. We don't have enough beavers. That's not good. 
Viva Colony expansion or jobs. Oof. I think. Can we, can we move, please? I would like to get this kind of thing up and going here. Get in and get rid of the stairs. Make our lives a little bit easier. I won't delete the stairs because that's just going to be too much of a hassle. Continue our apartment complex tower here. Need more beavers. Put another hauling post over here too. Um, just because we ended up with a lot of beavers with no jobs and... Don't want that. Um, order of operations here. I think we go for the woodwork shop next. So that gets us the ability to start creating the treated planks. It unlocks here uh, the ability to build that. I guess we already have it unlocked. And then I think after that, we go and get the large underground pile. Because uh, we'll go through phases where, like, we don't have any wood, like now, and then we'll go through phases where <laughs> this is just completely all trees that need cut down. And that is not good. So if we have that larger wood pile, we can go in and just stock up get all you cut down we probably put one over here and cut some of this down this is all sap trees this is all sap trees we could probably get something over here if we really wanted to but I'm thinking this is going to be second district kind of territory Centrifuge is going to be probably, probably last on the list. Let's go ahead and let's bump your priority up here. Let's get let's get these built. So get you built. You built. Are you empty yet? Oh, it's only taking you five hundred years. Put somebody in there. Pause one of you. For management. Our trout's almost over, so have some water coming back in. Storages are full across the board. Oh, coffee's hitting the spot today, guys. Hitting the spot. You know what I realized uh, while I was waiting, getting the stream set up this morning? We have dynamite. We can't use it. Yep. I was going to blow, gonna blow out like another chunk or two here. Nope. Nope. See how far the like irrigation goes. I don't know if it's gonna hop up. It might. Uh, chestnuts are gonna be unlocked, so I guess we could come in here with the grill. Yeah, chestnuts. 
like so. Another couple grills going. Kind of mirror our, our little setup we got. So we're going to bring grilled chestnuts and regular old chestnuts. It'll be obtained. Good. We're going to put that on super low priority, that on low priority. It's going to take a while for the chestnuts to come in. So this. Let's, let's get this set up. All right, so when it's currently at 1.46 meters so low threshold we want to be let's do like one point let's do one and floodgate height when it's low. Let's let's put it all the way up. High threshold. Let's do one point nine. And then we want to drop that down to one point five. This guy, we're not gonna, we're gonna do just these three synchronized. Contamination, no. Disabled during bad tide. None of this gets affected during bad tide, so the water level is gonna, is gonna drop. I think that should be good. Set height when drought starts. Set height when drought ends. This way we can have just a little bit of extra coming out. Uh, bedtime ends. We probably want it to be the same as. Let's see if this works. Okie dokie. Would love to get in here. Try to automate these. We don't have to uh, mess with it. Oof. Okay. I want to put it like here. Let's put a let's put a access point. Otherwise, they're gonna complain. I don't don't think we currently can get up here. So we gotta build our way. I'm gonna slow this down just a little bit because we're messing with things. I'm gonna put you there. That way we got a little bit, a little bit of room. guess this one's going to get stuck like here. These two we want, these two are going to be, and then those, cool.
And I want to do the same here. Try to control these so I don't have to keep running around. Adjusting these every time. Not a half of one, I believe. And second guessing what height we have everything at. So we're still waiting on 800 science to get wood workshop. Yeah, that's what it's called. Crunch, crunch. It's not me smacking my coffee cup around. Beavers. Waiting on logs. Always waiting on logs. Do we have workers out here? We do. <coughs> oh, sorry. Didn't get to mute in time. I think this is still the first round of these growing. So once that happens, I think we should uh should get a pretty healthy pretty pretty healthy stack of Pretty healthy stack of logs. Sorry, my brain was just thinking about how we have this water here. And we're irrigating kind of just here. And if we put it here, we could probably irrigate. Oops, that's not going to work. If we put it more here, we could irrigate all of this area and potentially get a little bit more crops. Um, a little bit more crops and a little more crops and a little more trees. see what happens hopefully hopefully that irrigates I'm worried about here we might have to situate it in the corner a little bit better Like so. Just to then get out here. I don't think we have enough squares to, to get that far. But we get some dynamite. Let's get things blowing up. Oh, geez. Did it again. See, this is why I want those gauges. It's every time, guys. I do this every time. This, I think, might have to be one. Maybe? Yes, no, no. The water coming through. Okay, so those opened up. Good. Building is flooded. Nice. Nice, just what I want. Flood it all, flood it all. We should be okay. 
Yeah, we're managing. We're managing. Can we get these done, please? Want control. We flood it again. Why? We normally don't have these kind of problems. Well, I mean, not for this long. Are we stable? We're not stable. I think maybe we drop that down to one when it gets to uh, that height. Let the water flow. Our wheels turn. And then this. What happened to you? Oh, here we go. Well, that didn't work out how I wanted it to. We're running out of water as well. It's quite ironic since we're flooding. But we're going to have beaver deaths if we don't watch out. This is actually potentially really bad. You actually need to build this like right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're getting close on science. Oof, boop, boop, boo. Put all my stock in getting this open, and, and now it's coming back to bite us. We're waiting on logs, 12 logs. Come on, somebody get it there. Only, only slightly nervous. Could use some more campfires. We could use some more social life things. We haven't been uh, real concerned about that. Maybe put some social life things over here. I, I don't think we're going to end up... Uh, take science, that's why. Dance hall, oh yeah. Maybe we up the work day. 18 hours. Get you working. We're back to zero water. Nice. Good to see. Three water pumps. Not cutting it. Get a fourth. Uh oh. Can we get this built, please? Where are all the logs coming from? Uh, because I said to please. Sep's goods. That's why. Four to twelve. We need you up and running, please. I mean, everybody seems to be okay so far. We get these up and running. We're, we're golden. 
You just gotta make it there. I mean, the fact the water is still showing up as being stored. See, that's a plus. There's what, 10 beavers that are actually thirsty? So I think we're okay. We're okay. We're gonna pop this one up and uh, get these guys moving. I'm gonna prioritize these by the haulers. Make sure that is number one priority. Number one indeed. 747, we're almost there. We've got our spot laid out here. What do we got here? Planks, four planks, we're ready to go. I think production is looking pretty low. It's because log production is low. Need more, more trees. We're gonna do more potatoes. Do we really need more potatoes? We need more trees. Two logs in 12 days. 30 days for eight. It's worth it in the long run. Sucks up front. Especially when right now you need logs. It's always better. Always better. We can afford it. We're not gonna we're not gonna die. We're not gonna die without them. We got some coming. I mean if push comes to shove, we can cut down these pines. Oh, we're not going to reach. What? Oh, what a shame. Well, we'll, we'll figure something else to do up there. I was really hoping we are going to get some chestnuts in. Womp womp. All right, so we get that going. Water should come back up. Shouldn't, shouldn't end up with a problem there. Little beavers are building our dam so we can get our second colony up and running. So we can get out here to underground ruins, place a mine. We should probably look at designing some type of water flow. This isn't necessarily the best spot for this. We're only going to get too tall. I'm thinking that is probably our best. It'll give us three. I'm hoping. Not gonna be a lot. The only other option would be to come over here. We come over here and we we just dam this exit point up. Then we can put some floodgates here, let the water flow this way, and then back and around. Might be. Might be worth it. Let's let's see how this goes. So we just need enough irrigation. 
to get some decent get some decent crops and trees. We don't need anything crazy. So it's just going to be here and here. This is a pretty big drop. I mean, we could we could just create a giant reservoir. Block this up like two blocks tall. And plenty of water down here. Ooh, 800. Let's go. Wood workshop. Got our spot built for it. Power connected. Let's go. Heck yeah. All right. So then the next, so that's going to give us treated planks. Nice. Our water issue, which is pretty much our only consumable issue for the beavers right now, should be solved. We're going to have three of those total. I think this ends up being our lowest priority. I want them to build these two because these can go four deep. We've got this massive reservoir. So, get these two built. Get some beavers out here. I think storage wise, we unlock this first. Get a large water tank out here. Allow them to quickly and easily ship the water to storage. And then our haulers can come over here. We'd probably put another ah, I'm so used to it being in water. It was updates ago. We put another one like right here. We run with two of them. And then that way too when we have the district. We can run one across to here. Nice, nice, almost there. And we've managed to keep our beavers out of the bad water the entire time. Well, look at us go. Slow and steady, but we've been there. You guys should have no reason to have any type of food symbol above your head. Um, let's get... I actually really want somebody to work in here, so let's bump you up. Yes. Let's make one of you lower priority. I don't know what the other six jobs that we don't have workers for are. But seeing as those guys are pretty much going to be just sitting there, we could be using you for other things. Smelter, we are at capacity, so let's drop one of you down. You can go help out in other places. Gears were full planks. We definitely need you guys working planks. Let's pause. Don't need a water mess. Can't get out of here. Should have known. You built real quick. A little animation of them walking up and down this is pretty cool. 
the down is really funny. Watch, they just like they face forward. Come on, somebody go down the ladder. Oh, now that I say something, nobody's gonna do it. Let's see how it is. Oh, here we go. Do do do. Okay, these need to be high priority. So our trees are gonna die. I'm concerned that we're not gonna get full, full range. No recipe selected. Grilled chestnuts. More concerned about having trees than not. So if we're going to lose out on trees for a little bit more over here, we're definitely going to go this one. We uh, will definitely be able to explode this out. It should give us a larger range. So we should green up this area. We're gonna need a couple more logs. Give it to me. Come on, two more. Somebody's got two logs. Right here, two logs. There we go. Let's get water in here. Chop, chop. I don't want my trees to die. Let's get going. No recipe selected. You weren't supposed to be building. Low priority on getting work there. We should be collecting syrup. Ooh, we're just about to. Except we don't have any workers. Nice. Pine resin, okay. So do we have treated planks yet? Ooh. And we got treated planks. Do we use all of the pine resin that we had? That's unfortunate. Beavers, you are... Yes. My goodness, beaver population. Okay. Oh, you're going to give us, like, nothing? Because you're not... You have to be in actual decent shape. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, we can run both of them. We can run both of them and do this timer thing and... Try to get some more area out of it. We need, we need lumber. I really wish we could plant this area. I feel like this is just going to be dead space. And again, I think we're good on food. Do we plant chestnut trees here? Can you reach? You can. Do you harvest chestnuts? 
You won't. Who harvests chestnuts? Oh, do we need a gatherer flag? Oh, we do. So that's a hole. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the one side's two. The one side's... Whoops. Whoops. That's not going to work. Blood my trees out. Once we get dynamite, we'll, we'll set up an actual three by three grid to properly irrigate things. And uh, hopefully not have to worry about double dipping. I guess it really doesn't matter. So if we're not doing chestnuts, then I definitely am planting more oak trees. Oak all the way. some point in time all of this tree planting is going to pay off and we're going to have just massive amount if we would ever stop building and producing I don't have any do we have storage for I don't think we ever made storage for resin planks Oop, treated planks. Sorry. Treated planks. Ooh, that's a big one. Let's do at least a little storage so then we have somewhere to put them. It's not in here. Oh, it's the one that you can't stack. Ooh. Of course, because that's where all of the planks go. Okay. Put that to a little bit of higher priority. Fine resin. Apparently... I'm gonna get rid of one of these rows. These are pine resin. We've got a bunch, we just need to harvest it. But to help increase, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take one more row. Oh, and look at that, we stopped it. Nice. I'm gonna get our beavers up here. So then we can start building. Should be able to get there. And we'll put one here. Start building those. We can start irrigating this area, see how that goes. As soon as we get a stable treated plank supply, we'll try to look to make it out that way. Ooh, excuse me. We're doing on water. Water seems to be improving. Dude, over here. Oh, they've built our little posts. So let's get. Stream gauges attached, and then low threshold. If we are 
Let's go like a quarter. We want to put this up to bad tide approaching one. Slow this down while I'm messing with the, the stream gauges. I want the bad tide to approach and we we'd be caught. Would be bad. Stream gauge is getting high. I'm going to put this down to 0.5. Um, see, I want to... Set height when bad tide starts, too. I wish there was just a little bit more with these. Because this is kind of a, a like, a, I don't want bad tide coming through here. I think that's what we do. And then this one, this one's going to be... real important one. Set height when bad tide starts to two. Set height when drought ends to zero. Honestly, I think that would work because the bad tide, bad tide's going to take a decent amount of time to get through. So when it starts, if we just lock this up, no, that's not going to work. Honestly, how far can we get out here? Might be better to do that. And then as soon as it starts detecting, we might have to play with this a little bit. So if we if we set it to like the lowest possible contamination threshold, and it just boop, shuts these all the way up. We shouldn't get any bad water in here. Then these, when the bad tide starts, let's see. We set it to two. All this water is going to keep coming through here. What if, what if we set both of these off of this one, okay? And then we have different parameters for it. So this one we have set up like this, a low threshold. So when this is below, we're going to set this to go high, so it fills up. And then when it's low... 
or when the when the water is high, we're gonna set it low. Right, so that's good. And then these right this we can set the same way but kind of backwards so when this the same one is low we're gonna open this when this is high We're going to close these. And because all of the, the gates are synchronized, we should be okay. And then when we get this one built, this one's attached to that one, but then this one, and then we disable during bad tide, so then it doesn't work. So then no bad water gets in. But then we do this one, we attach it to here, and then you can see it. We mess with the contamination level thresholds. And it will, as soon as it detects any contamination, boom, it stops them. It stops them right up. All right, so let's get this set to a high priority. Let's run the game a little bit. We're going to leave that one there just in case this fails epically. So this. We're going to attach with you. We're going to go basic. So when bad tide starts to height zero. Nope, we're gonna do this. Um combination threshold one percent. Zero uh, percent, sorry. We're going to go to, oh, we don't want to set this one. We want a tall boy. Push you up, push you up. Apparently we don't want to work right. All right, so contamination threshold zero. We want to set the two. The moment it detects anything, we want. We probably should also build this one out here. Because again, if by the time it's here, it's going to be too late. So let's build. I'm going to build like three out here. That way, when the bad tide hits here, we can control both of these gates. No, no, no. And I think that's the best course of action. All right. So this, we were talking, is going to be set to this. Let's pause this because it was acting funny. Set height below low contamination. So when it's at zero, we're okay with it being at zero to let the water through but as soon as we get a, a boop 
we're going to go to two. And then this is disabled during bad tides. Everything else, we're okay. We're going to keep a very close eye on this. We gotta adjust that just a little bit. Go to 0.87 as it started overflowing. That way it's not too much. Come on, beavers. This one seems to be to be working down here, so we're we're good there. Nice, we're getting that going. We're almost there. Turn that back on. Our water is getting stocked back up, which is good to see. I like it. Okay, so this one, let's set, set you guys to here. Let's pause this for a second so we can not, not mess things up. I'm going to drink some coffee real quick. All right, so contamination is zero. We want this to be, right now it's one, so it's one. You get any type of this, we're going to lose you up. Normally, that's just for that. Good. And then this one. We'll set to here. We'll do the same thing. So then we should probably not do this on opposite sides. Let's do this one to here. So when this is low, disable during bad tide. This is, we don't really care about it being low. The one when it's high. Go just under 1.5 because that's when it starts overflowing. We'll put it to five. Cool. And this is our backup for these guys. Disable during bad tide. Low threshold. High threshold. So this is when it gets over. you down good we're almost to bad tide so let's hurry up hurry up hurry up I like the automation of these uh, stream gauges not having to do it myself beautiful we haven't checked to see if we're overflowing anywhere here. I don't imagine we would be. We do have some pretty fast currents. We're looking good. Cool. It's good to know. Now, 
Good to know. This one went to be too far. Oh no. Please hurry up. Oh, you just have to get finished. I hate you so much. <sighs> okay, let's, let's link you up. No. Disable during bad time. Low threshold is going to be pretty low. You're going to be up. High threshold. So when it gets to above, that's when we're going to drop it down. flooding we haven't flooded anything yet so everything seems to be working appropriately all right and then you the tall boy you're gonna get set to here and then check both of these contamination low threshold you're gonna be all the way up as soon as we get a little bit Come on, give me 1%. Kata. You're going to go down. Disable during bad tide. Awesome. Wait, why are you? What did I mess up? Are all my gates messed up? Do we have conflicting systems? That tide hasn't started yet. Disabled during temperate. That's probably why. Disabled during temperate. So then where's our bad tide one? We should probably put that for drought as well. Learning, learning curve here. Cool. Okay. We should be good then. My only concern is, is what happens? Like, are we gonna, are we gonna make sure we have enough stock enough enough water depth right we're about to find out this could be all kinds of bad disaster could be upon us Speed this up. Bad tide's gonna hit this cliff. What at building fourteen? What is going on? Why are you? Uh... So we need some adjustment there. Okay, so this, what happened here?
could you you were left at point five. Let's figure out why. And you you were not as high as I want. Okay, so two things. Honestly, I think that's pretty good. Chat, if we see something not quite right, let me know. I don't know if anybody has any, any experience with this. So we probably, we probably should hook up. how to do this. Let's, well, let's see. I'm more concerned about the droughts, right? Bad tides, two days. I think we're going to be okay. 1.21 depth there. That's not great. Not what I want, though. But I, I think we can manage. I mean, we're, we're at least good for bad tides here. I am concerned about this. Whoop. Maybe that'll solve our problem. When water is not contaminated, it's going to be open. But when it's not, it will close. No, no. I, yep, see, I was concerned about that. Oh... Now we did it. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, well. All right. All right, so what happened? What's happening right now? So this is overriding. I think we need to get rid of this. Does that do it? It does do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Through that. Rid of that. Rid of that. We're fine. We're fine. We just killed off all our crops. Ran bad water through here. We haven't run bad water through in you know how long. Oh, okay. All right. I apparently overcomplicated this. Low threshold here. We're going to set these to 0.5. High threshold. No, 
low threshold we want higher and then here high threshold we want lower emanation yes let's just flush this out it's got to go out Where you attach to? That was a big goof. Beaver is unwell. Well, you know how I was talking about. Goof and stuff up earlier. Yeah, well, here we are. So who are you attached to? attached to here okay all right set height where do you set height low threshold when it's low number brain's really gotta think and then we gotta fix our beavers we're gonna have some beavers die. Looks like four of them. All right. High threshold really doesn't matter. Height when drought starts to two. Height when droughts ends to zero. Two. Doesn't matter. What do you do now? You open up. Cool. You should be attached there. Contamination threshold. This we should be able to just attach to this. How we had the first time. So when it's low, we want this to be high. When it's high, we want it to be low. If there's any contamination, it's going to open up. Boy. 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 What's going on here? What did I do? Low threshold is one meter. Flood gate height to two. There we go. Let's get that bad water out. It's gonna cause problems down here, but this should all flush out. Crisis management. We got this. Beavers are all replanting things. We got plenty of water. You guys are more important. Let's close you up. That wasn't the destroy. Boom. Not so worried about you. Nothing. Should start flushing out. Should be good. This is going to be a pain, but we'll get there. All right. Uh, okay. Low threshold should be two. Do another thing set up somewhere? No, oh, what's going on? Close you up. The only time I care about is when bad tides come through.
you attach to here. not going to work we're going to have to build we need to build one like right here in order for this to work let's delete some of these so we don't get confused you connected anything? Yes, who? Yes, yeah, so the middle one we can delete. And then this is going to control this guy. Oh. So I'm more concerned about the water level overflowing, and then as soon as bad water hits here, low threshold, we're not worried about, high threshold, Ooh, all the way up, and then low threshold, so when we're is this right now it's one point six when we're here, let's go to one. We go to point five. That should be good. See, I, I wish there was just a little bit more. I think we're still going to have to come in here when like the drought starts. And mess with these. All right. Yeah, that one beaver is going to die. Don't need you up here anymore. You aren't working. Why are you not working? Shouldn't this mean that it goes all the way up now? Disable during temperate? Low? No? Is there contaminated water here? I don't I don't understand. Huh. Okay. No problem, I guess. Water is cooking. Do we have it? We have enough science. Ooh, it's tempting. This would get this would get science cooking. I think we go for it. Knock out 
Let's knock out these. Oh, it needs power. Okay, let's bring it over here. We have power. We can get you power very easily. Um, kind of an awkward building size. Guess we'll put you there. Do some of our vertical. Power shafts. All right, puts it into there. Yes. Nice. Which is that? Two hundred. Boy. Beavers are contaminated. Who is out in the bad water? What were you guys doing? Probably running around like this. That's what I get for not having paths up. Shame on me. Shame on me. That's why I like these ladders. You can still get down and you can still get across. They are fantastic. Fantastic. You are running. Get four beavers in there. Close this. Close one and that is ten. Crank it. Out, beavers. Sixteen jobs. What are we doing, guys? Oh, it spins. That's so cool. So cool. We got treated planks now in stock. It's good to see. Maple, we could do maple pastries. What does that take? I think it's in the bakery. Flour and wood. Let's get another bakery lined up. Let's start offsetting this a little bit just so then we can kind of meander a path back along here. This is going to be maple pastries. Let's lay a path. So we need, we need a couple local storages. Right here. We got logs. We got logs close enough. So if we do maple, and then we can do uh, wheat, petal flour, wheat flour. That's where we have wheat flour right here somewhere. Maybe we do another wheat flour right here. Just to make sure it's close. Let's do maple pastries here. Okay, 
and here. This one is going to be supply. This one will just be we want to obtain here. And we want to obtain. That way we always have some. Yeah. Should be good there. Got some more food for our beavers. Look at how quick our science has gone up. Oh my gosh. All right, so water storage is next. Water storage is next, because I want to have that big storage over here. 600. We are there. Ah, dog. Definitely going like that. Another bad tide. Two in a row today? Do I trust our... Do I trust our things? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And we're cooking on science. I'm gonna have to, to build a second one. Maple pastry should boost our overall wellness. Although our jobs, I guess four beavers are contaminated, so they're not working. 16 jobs total. Oof. I guess this is eight. I guess half of those jobs are actually legitimate. We could knock that down to four. And I guess we did just put nine extra jobs with water. So, yeah. I'm going to pause this until we absolutely need it. I know this is pretty far away, but once we get this... It's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. What do you think, chat? I think the uh, two big boys over here in the deep water is a better idea. I just think this is a little bit more valuable space. What's our storage cost here? A thousand two fifty for the large warehouse. Fortunately, I'm more interested in the underground pile where we like it's a magnitude of what, like 10? <laughs> like the amount of logs that we're going to be able to store total. Just going to be ridiculous. Ugh. Yeah, we got to get the centrifuge to be able to get. I don't know. I guess we could actually. Do we have. We don't have. Sunflowers. Let's grow a small patch, get some of those going here soon. I guess we could. Are they in like. <laughs> that picture is wild. science is science is pretty quick let's get this up and going let's get somebody in there working then what are we going to need oh I don't have paper 
another 250. That water's approaching. Let's see if this works. I don't know if I ever fixed this one. Let's pause real quick. I wish you could link sets of gates together or stream gauges. If we bump that up, we should be able to hold more water. Is only the one changing? Okay, let's go check our bad water situation. I don't want to get caught with another bad situation. Okay, so this water, water in there is a little bit lower than I would like the shut and closed how i would like them to i'd like a little bit more water in here so we could just adjust these I don't ever want the water below, let's say like there. We seem, this seems to be working. As soon as these got bad water, it all closed up. Any bad water in our system. Got a pretty decent amount of water in here. Got plenty of water here. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. You three connected. You're not. If I destroy you, though. I put a floodgate here, you will be connected. And then what I'll do is I'll put a gauge here. Oh, I'll monitor the, the water level. For a second, I was like, oh my gosh, there's an undercurrent. But it was the beavers. It's like, whoa. Pretty sick. Right, so this one has to stay. This one has to stay. So you all connected now? You are nice. Cool. So we now start irrigating over that way. Let's, these are both four. 
I'm going to close this side up. And we're going to start Need to drop this down probably to there. Oh, trees in the way. Yeah. Yeah. Got about half a block. Half a block. So then water should only go out of here and here now. We'll see how the flow of water, water goes. Cool. Wait, do we have enough science for, oh, what happened? Uh. You had to have opened. I'm not messing with it advanced anymore. Okay, so you all are going to be on the exact same settings. The hype when drought starts to two. The hype when drought ends to zero. So the hype when drought bad tide starts to two. It starts to two. Advanced nothing. Advanced nothing. Advanced nothing. Advanced nothing. See if we can't get a fluid dump. I'm gonna save our trees. Trees are the most of a valuable resource. Ugh. Just you. So are you opening and closing based on how much? Unless this dried out. No, this would have had to have. Because I have this set to open if there's contamination in there. So that's why all the water bled out. This was not what I thought we were going to be figuring out today, but... Apparently it is. Get some life back into our trees here. Hmm. 
are somehow managing to keep things alive. They're died. Okay, these are all no, it's watered and healthy. I don't know what's in here that's keeping it alive, but I'm not going to complain. Fever's unwell. Well, don't run through the water. Let's maybe pause this. Let's keep people from going into the water. Eventually, if we can. I think that would be a smart idea. Do we have maple pastries yet? We don't because we don't have anybody working. Oh. I'm going to preemptively get rid of this. So we have space for the underground pile, which we should have here very shortly. We also need paper. We don't have all the stuff for you, so let's get rid of you. We're doing so well. We diverted the bad water. And me, you know, being lazy, not wanting to have to deal with coming over here and done with these floodgates. Look at the mess I made. So what is going to happen here? This is going to wait until we get water coming through. Died now. Well, that's at least some good news, I guess. Start creating a path to come out over this way. Wash all that gross out. Let's see if this one actually works. We changed the settings on it. Water should be cleaning up. Was it this one? Yeah. Maybe it needs 1%, so then it could be 0. And once it's 0, it'll actually close. Yeah. Cool. Nice. I was worried that it was going to take a minute for the water to get back and flush this out. I didn't want this grossness coming back through. We got a little bit of a stalemate over here. I'm not quite sure how besides Doing this ourselves, this is going to get resolved. Okay, so that's our... Hmm. It's not one thing, it's going to be another. Okay. All right, well, I mean... 
Oh, we can at least unlock this. And our storage woes become no more. I'm going to empty this, and I want to put a big one here, and a big one here. I would like to put all three of these as big ones, but I don't know. We have to get creative with uh, storage methods here. Hundred and eighty shouldn't take too long. Oh yeah. Mm. Don't want to build this until we can shift. All right, delete you. Oh, we're never getting that. That's such a bad placement. Log storage. Look at that. What is that? Three grand? Why will you not let me do this? 2,200. Uh, so let's pause this. Pause this. Metal. You built, build another big one here. Is this scrap? Yes. Metal blocks. Then that way we can just shift, shift, and then we'll do this one, shift, shift. Oh, oh, I did the wrong one. Oh no. Gosh darn it. Man. What do we got? 17. Got storage for days. I love when you can finally have these. It makes storage so much easier. So much easier. Metal blocks, obtain. Ah, uh, no, that's that's our actual storage. So we'll empty this. Bring you back online, and you can make metal to your heart's content. We'll change this over to scrap. Empty you. Planks. Oh, we ran through our plank supply. That's what's going on. We're going to build another one over here. More. Honestly, we should probably build some type of uh, storage. Maybe plank storage. I 
Probably just get rid of this. Plant more trees. It's probably the smart decision. Where? Where did all of this scrap come from? It just came out of nowhere? Hell yeah. Uh, boo -boo -boo, storage, underground pile. Scrap. You are going to be obtained. This one we do want to be obtained because it needs to be brought in. Come on, planks. Let's go ahead and prioritize this one. 80 planks, that's a lot. I have you as marked cut down, yes. Plant some more pine trees. Get rid of you. Cute little 20 logs. It's, that was the before times. We're doing on flow over here. Nice. Okay. All right. So we got a decent amount of green area over here. We can work with this. I think we're going to have our district transfer right here. 600. Nice. These guys are chonky but they are worth it. I did not appropriately plan. Now that we have ladders, We can get a little bit kind of sneaky here. We do not go through, which is unfortunate. It's great. We don't need, we probably should. Mm -hmm. What do you think, chat? Still double space this. And getting through is important. Do something like this. All right, so what do we what do we have a lot of that we're constantly got issues with? It looks like bread. What is this oh, wheat wheat and wheat flour so let's start one with wheat that's totally what i wanted build one on top for wheat flour the other side, let's do potatoes and then grilled potatoes. Do we have that much potatoes and grilled potatoes, chat? Is it worth it? We probably could. I'm thinking, though, bread. Bread. 
Fred for sure. Let's do bread on the bottom. Carrots we're not producing a lot of. We could probably up get this back going. I'm going to say maple syrup is in the containers. Let's push to get cattail flour. Let's get that up. Our gates work phenomenal. Phenomenally. During regular seasons. Bad tide, we're uh, going to figure that out still. All right, district crossing, 600. That's somewhere right there. Don't want to completely cut things off yet because it'll be easier for these guys to get over here and build some stuff. Instead of me trying to... Well, this is a bad way to get in here. What am I thinking, guys? I mean, it's a good way to get out, but to get in? Oof. Yeah, I kind of want to set up the district in here. And we can probably loop. Well, same for here, I guess. Ooh, gross. Maybe do that. See how much of it this district. Looks like they'll build it all. So if we can get them to build all of this and then we can come in here and Link down a, another district. I think that would be pretty cool. Thinking right in here like this, pushed up against here. Hmm. We think, guys. So I want to be able to get, I don't want to push ourselves into the corner. Maybe we put it over here. That way we don't kind of limit our range over this way. Utilize some of some of this space up here. Put it on top of this. Be silly. I'm thinking maybe right here. Let's do it. Uh, so let's get rid of all of this then. you guys haven't gone too crazy. 
just redo this. I want, let's do a couple bridges. Let's bridge over once and then again. Something like that. Large water pump would be nice. And a water pump, get a medium tank, maybe. Let them run. Let's see what they'll they'll build. Got projects out the wazoo. All right, so you obtain. Let's empty these back out. Scraps. I'm trying to focus on getting that going because our scrap pile three bad tights in a row. Wow, our scraps are getting getting slim pickings. We haven't had a drought yet today. Literally all of them have been bad tides. Scrap metal, metal blocks, logs. I'm thinking maybe we turn this one into a large underground pile for planks. Gotta look at getting our plank pile. Plank pile up. We've got three large underground things for <laughs> logs. Mr. Wang, doctor, good morning. How are you doing? Welcome in. First time chat. Hope you're having a good day. The map I am playing on is Helix. So we got the big old swirls. Going around and around and around. You got the district that starts down here. Kind of towards the, the very bottom. We're 16 cycles in and been rocking one district. Yeah. Yeah. So I made the decision uh, going up here to get scrap uh, i put the bridge in right to get there and then i blocked this off so then now everything kind of falls off the edge here and now i don't have to wait quite as long right i still gotta wait for these two inner rings but i don't gotta wait for it to travel all the way around here And then that's why I've got it, my little little gauges here, although they haven't been working quite perfectly. I, the beginning, yes, it's it's quite difficult, uh, but I got a little little system set up here. This little split here kind of makes it nice. I let all my water flow through, but then I kind of kind of separated it, and then when the bad tide comes through, I close everything up and I open these guys up. I let the bad tide just kind of run through. Getting to that, getting to that point, rough. Uh, I'm playing normal. Normally, I play on hard, uh, just because of how different this bad tide system was. Uh, getting in and playing it for the first time, I didn't want to jump into hard and have you know a 14 day bad tide <laughs> and not be able to manage food because you you get into the later cycles of droughts and stuff on hard and it's like 25 days of a drought and then you get like three days of a good tide and you gotta you gotta figure your stuff out in three days and i was like man i don't want to have a bad tide for like 20 days and all of my stuff die 
completely have to regrow it. Like play a, play a beaver colony for like a whole five cycles and, and then die and not even be able to figure out any of the new mechanics. So like planes on hard during experimental. Yeah. I usually don't, I'm not too much of an experimental. I don't want to get in and like learn mechanics of stuff. Right. And then have to relearn it and then relearn it. I'd rather it come out in the update and then I'll get in and play it. I want to get through. So my plan is on this. I want to get through the, uh, get through all the new content. Um, and then I, I usually like to play the iron teeth. So I'm going to go play a hard, play a hard run through with the iron teeth. Have some fun with that. And mountains. Okay. I don't know if I've played mountains. They've redone a lot of the maps, which I enjoy because you play through all the maps and you kind of get stuck in almost a routine, right? And I'm not saying it gets boring, but it's almost kind of predictable, right? You're like, okay, if I get, if I get in here and I, I kind of levy these things up, should be pretty set. Three tries to get it stable. Oof. The iron teeth, man. You you mess up. You mess up your food at all. And that's that's it. That was one of the reasons why I wanted to do these guys, because as long as you have some um food and you have housing, like they, they keep reproducing. You don't need water and berries to to reproduce. I don't do I know which one Mountains is? I'm going to look it up here real quick. Tube's probably going to start yelling at me. Nope. I do, so getting these mods in, I, I do at some point in time want to play the Water Beavers. I've never played the Water Beavers before. I know I terrace. I like terraces. Terrace is a good map. Yeah, so I've like just for oop oop, bad tight started. Let's let's double check here. Just because, A, I, I enjoy playing the game. I usually have a, a map that I'm playing. Um, and I've got I've got the folktale set up on terraces. I think that's probably my favorite map to play. I've got them set up normal as well, just, just in case I, um, I usually progress a little bit quicker. Playing a couple times throughout the, the week. But the bad water sources on that is uh it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Ooh, mountains. Yeah, mountains looks like it's mountains looks like it's be pretty fun. Maybe I'll give uh maybe I'll give the the iron teeth a when I do the iron teeth run through I'll, I'll maybe I'll try that on mountains just because I haven't done the thousand lakes I was considering the the thousand thousand lakes or thousand islands I was considering going on that just because the like sheer amount of water lack of land 
You have to really like really manage stuff. All right, so my levees seem like they're functioning properly. I don't. What is going on here? Yeah. This is making me uncomfortable. Why are we at 0.5? Low threshold at 1. Let's maybe not disable during bad tide. Okay, that makes me feel better. Lakes or Helix next. Yeah, I mean, you could do both. You could play Iron Teeth on one. You could play uh, Folk Tales on one. Reach that mine. Yeah, we're about we're about there. Do we have enough for mine? Four thousand. Oof. No. <laughs> get bots yeah the bots is something that i'm excited to get into where's it at because now you got to do the refinery for it and make fuel instead of it just running off of your your network which i think is super cool super cool a little difficulty with planks Always planks, always planks. Sixteen jobs. Get some more beavers in here. Mods, um, so I've got a couple in here just for just to make things a little bit easier, right? Nothing nothing too crazy. I don't have like the train. Although at some point in time I think I'm I want to run a full modded run through. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so I got a couple things. I've got these are just things I, I just saw and I want to try because like this one I've been, this is something I think they, this is something I think they should add to the game. These I think they should leave modded, right? Tunnel through levy, 100% thing should be in the game. Um, yeah, yeah, I, 100 but they're beavers they, they should have they should have tunnels through their dams 100 percent think that should be a thing um this though the ladder this little guy right here it gives you the capability to go up and down and over yeah, love it. And then like over here, instead of having to have your like spiral staircase thing to get up, you just pop straight up and then pop your path across. So that's that's real handy. And I think the, the cost for it, I think that's that's very reasonable. So it's not it's it doesn't feel real cheaty. Um got some additional floodgates. Um, again, I think the cost, cost is a little steep, but I think it's worth it. They're metal floodgates and they get super, you can go up to 10 high, which I think for something like over here, um, you know, where some of these get pretty high. I don't like putting levees at the bottom because I want to use all of the water. Like I don't want. I don't want my water being stuck there. So tree to plank scrap. Um, I think I think that's I think that's pretty good. What else did I get? I got one to try out. Um, this packaging plant. I don't know how I feel about that. It's supposed to help you manage um, your food a little bit better. You have to make all the stuff and then you can package it so you don't have to have 14 different warehouses. Don't know if I'm going to put that one down. 
and then the power shafts. Uh, it's just like the ladder. So instead of having to go uh, like the stairs, if you get into spots where you need to go up to, you can just stack them up to instead of having to like spiral around. I haven't run into a situation yet, but if we need to take power over here, we could run power straight up. I don't think it's anything crazy. And those ones too, these, these are a little bit more. My power shaft is one, two, and three. Yeah, those might be a little cheap. Oh well. I think they're pretty cool though. All right, we can unlock paper. Oh, we do not. It is ten o'clock. Time has flight. Oh. See, we were talking and I missed it again. I don't know what is happening. <sighs> Something's happening. Bad water's getting through. And it's it's our automation set up here. Uh, gross. Gross. Well, unfortunately, it's time to go today. Womp womp, big sad. We got a lot done though, guys. We got our storages, boom. We got our science done. What was the other thing we were looking for today? I don't remember. I feel like we accomplished what you did though. Made some progress. We got some bad waters. We got some contaminated beavers. So we got a lot of things to uh, figure out. I'm probably going to nuke these stupid things up here. <sighs> Causing me problems. No problem, guys. Appreciate you hanging out, chit chatting with us. Hope you guys enjoy your week. Don't do anything too crazy. Have fun, though. And uh, we will see you again. Next weekend, guys. Take care.